Run for all mains. Let's move. Let's catch some wind, lads. Cliff ahead. Steer up at three. Sword no sail. Cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. Disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for nonsense. These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking sight. I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Oh, boy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. This is the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise. Sense. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for.
What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Jackdaw's got no business here in some shallow waters. There's another watchtower. We're half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! See them, over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. This ship's built for the open ocean, not stalking by it. Come off the wind. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Sure, they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. Thank you. 
Thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Who's that there? Two old gators come for their supper. Right, the old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We talk about our weather another time, mate. It's a bit of a hurry. <laughs> this blockade best end soon. We've got land crazy. This dirty puddle road soon. One would suppose all this was the gold. Old rum at least. Nothing but medicines to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessels. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. Crocodiles tonight. I could have sworn I saw something past the boat. No. Nope. Quiet night. Are you sure? There's something in the water. Wait till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. your accidents. What's the word from the harbour, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? Give over. He's vanished. To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion!
Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, I... I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. Hi, Melanie. I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. 
Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level 2 security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access.
Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them or they will destroy your data and send it back home. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. We really should look into that security company from Chicago. They know what they're doing. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch.
it's uh it's funny i i have this memory of you uh when i keep coming back to and i i always think about it when i'm working or just before going to bed uh, because it um sort of calms me i guess um i was 14 I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like, or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh. Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Well, I'll be hanged. 
And George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a trouble. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shape than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair to the to hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had? Incredible. No cleaner than a dog. Rackham, Vane, the governor has come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Fan out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, but the King has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about His Majesty, Governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards! Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up energy here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn thing not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the King's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Commodore, 
Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea. Every such pirate and pirate soldier in Britain or themselves as aforesaid shall have our gracious heart of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January, next ensuing, and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers oh, at sea, now. and all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, and other places in our plantations, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly.
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this, but in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. own. They'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, fellas. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you forecastle headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. <laughs> 